Well, you can probably tell we're about to have a fair bit of fun here. Um, we are here in Sydney at Coast Restaurant, the wonderful Coast Restaurant, who have uh, been kind enough to, um, to host some of our filming for NZ Wine Online. Thank you. And um, with me is Mr. Rudy Bauer from Quartz Weef. Rudy. Hello, Mr. Thank you. Good, good to, to see you again. It's always good to see you. Right, it's nice always to good you. to see you. Now, um, folks, we've got a, a really quite a rare, twi rare treat here. Um, so we're going to taste two Pinots from Rudy. And Rudy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pour these two out. And um, while I do that, would you explain what we've got? So let's start with the Magnum here. So, so what we've got here, Quartz Reef is... Um, our first vintage of Quartz Reef from Bendigo Estate Vineyard was in 2001. So this is our second release ever. And then six years later, we're having a 2008. The reason we got both vintages is simply based on both years, 02 and 08, were very strong years uh, for St. Lotago and also for us, of course. And we have a look at the evolution of those two wines. Mm -hmm. And do we see a difference between 02 and 08? Of when it comes down to vine age, or is vine age still not relevant because the vineyard is still too young? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think um, I will be very excited to find out what your thoughts are on it, and also, also the ability of how the wines have been aging, and that might be of interest to prove also a point of Central Otago. Well, looking at the colour, I mean, there's really not all that much difference between the two wines, but I just want to um, just so that you're how special this is. Um, this wine here, Rudy said his second second vintage, mm. 2002, um, was bot well, they were bottling, you were bottling exclusively in Magnum at that it's stage. Right, yeah. So 350 Magnums, yeah. the entire vintage of Quartz Reef 2002, Bendigo Estate Vineyard was bottled in 350 Magnums. Mm. This is Magnum number three, and Rudy, thank you so much for bringing this over for us to look at. There's only six more of these yeah. in existence. Mm. Um, so so number one and number two. You've got number one and number two. And also 350. It's quite interesting. Okay, very good. <laughs> well, number three is good. Number three is one of my favourite numbers, so I'm very happy to be tasting Magnum number okay. three. And so, and this is the same vineyard, but you moved in 2005, you started doing bottlings in 750 mil. Correct, yes. And do you still bottle Magnums as well? Oh, yes, we do. Yes, they still come in Magnums. Okay, great. All right, well, let's have a taste. Um, okay. Um, I might sort of tell you, if you want to taste the, the O2 first. So we've got what, a, it's a nine year old wine we're tasting here, but in Magnum. And um, you know, what a great way to age um, any wine um, is, is in Magnum. It, it really, it, it proves the point, doesn't it, that that's a great way to buy if you're going to sell a wine. Yeah, I, I certainly believe so as well. All right, that's still looking really quite fresh on the nose, but I'm seeing um, it's moving into sort of some some slightly sort of tobacco-y, sort of more savoury mm -hmm. sort of um, sort of uh, aromas. Um, I also get I'm still interesting enough. I get a little bit of toast as well coming through, and <laughs> and, 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 and there's still this um, the sweetness of um, more like you know red red cherries. Yep, Dawson, and plenty of red cherries on the palate. Really silky, supple, complete, intense, absolutely delicious actually, um, and very fresh. Tannins are very even, tannins are distributed all the way through the palate, they don't sit off to one side or up the front or up the back, they're very plush. Nice bright acidity and real concentration. I'm surprised how young it tastes, like, honestly. I'm Do they all look it. this good? I hope so. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, 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 uh, it, admittedly, this is, it, it looks very, very young. That is an that's, unbelievably, is so Im, uh, that's, that is a really impressive um, nine-year-old magnum of, of Central Otago Pinot. Um, you'd, you'd say that wine, that wine to me still looks like, and this is the thing about, you know, any great wine um, is a wine that you can put into bottle, put in your cellar, and, and, and a great wine, we really, you know, we've, we've always thought great wines are wines that will improve as they mature. And you'd have to say that this wine is still, is still on the on on the uh, on the ascent, really, yeah. isn't it? Mm. I think it's interesting, you know, this, you know, coming the secondary flavour development. It's, you certainly know it has not reached it yet, because of this enormous sweetness on the palate. You know, there's no forest floor yet. You know, there's no. there's, just a, there's a little hint of flintiness I'm kind of getting. Um, you know, this kind of toastiness, but certainly not, um, you know, a savouriness. You know, it's just a little bit of touch of 
savouriness coming in. Yeah, I see just a little hint of um, you sort of see a little tobacco-y mm. sort of um, um, slightly autumnal sort of um, um, you know gently leafy sort of edge starting to appear. Um, all right, good job. Thank you. Thank I'm you. Very happy with that. I'm very, very happy with that too. too. I'm very glad you. you brought it. Let's have a look at the at the 08 now. Um, so, I mean, this is a baby by comparison. Well, well, let's find out. I mean, it's more interesting to see if it's a baby or not. I, I, I uh, um, yeah, it's. But, but just one thing maybe to learn is that with being the you know being obviously first in this particular separation of Bendigo is that I learned two things the last twenty years is that the site is much better than I thought, but it's far more difficult to understand than I ever expected. So that's that's the other part, you know. There's maybe it's understand it's maybe it's easier to understand this one than this one, you know. This it's just um, just it is really tight, you know. It's and it's a completely different direction, being so masculine. It's brooding, isn't it? It's really got a sort of a brooding sort of depth about it. Um, it's not it's not harsh or aggressive, but it's got a it's got a strength to it. And the tannin structure is different in that mm. wine. The tannins mm. are more the tannins are more assertive. Mm. The O2 has a has a layer of velvety sort of softness around the edges, whereas this one here is still the tannins are really sort of mm. are, are really wrapped tight around the outside. It's right. very taut. Mm. So and also, it does. You know, see, it doesn't allow the sweetness to come out. It's it, as you said. This is like this belt yeah, hanging around the wine, and, and, and it doesn't want to let, let loose. It's contained, isn't mm. it? It's wrapped together. Mm. And so, would you expect over time? Obviously, you've seen you've not you know you've seen oh three oh four oh five oh six oh seven and oh eight. Do you see that? Would we expect that? Would we expect that wine that oh eight over time to sort of start blossoming and growing on the palate? Oh yes, yes, yes. That fruit will start pushing I certainly out. believe that. One thing we need to also understand is that, as you know, with a young vineyard, you know, it's it's it got this abundance of fruit, like which the old two is just like oozing with it. Where in the old eight, it's it's certainly not has certainly not that fruit volume, so to speak. You're coming more and leaning more into the structure. The the, the you know the, the framework of the wine has changed. It, it's more it has a stronger framework. Is uh, that the challenge down there in Central Otago? Yeah. Do you think because fruit? You don't, you don't struggle to get fruit, no, right? No. You, you've got more fruit than you know what to do with. Mm. Is structure the holy grail for, for making Pinot for uh, you? For in a lot of, yes, oh, without any doubts. I mean, st structure, it goes hand in hand with age of the site or the vineyard and single vineyard expression. I think you will see more and more wines coming out from St. Notago where you will see that they have the ability to age because you can see and taste the framework is there. So you un so as a winemaker, you understand the personality of that vineyard and that site, and you're able to you're able to treat it the best possible way and to to explain trying, the information. Yeah, trying to. I mean, at the end of the day, we are still so young to understand the vineyard. How I close are you? How close are you to figuring it out? Uh, possibly another sixty years. Sixty years. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sixty more years. Well, you need to be I, in I, a magnum I, I, if you I, want to last another sixty years. You'll have to. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I've already got all of my, my, all my body parts already <laughs> in, 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 in set aside for repair work. Good, good. You got, so you got a full set of spares? Yeah, full set good. of spares. <laughs> all right. Well, I think you're going to need a full set of spares. If these wines are anything to go by, um, that is a fabulous tasting. And um, that shows us, well, it shows us um, a great site, a talented winemaker in Rudy Bauer. And... Um, it also shows us uh, um, the beauty of bottling something in magnums and, 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 and cellaring carefully. Um, it's and St. Lotago, just remember, it's, it, the, 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 what should we call it, the birth of those oldest wines is, is, is the region of St. Lotago. It's, it's the climate, the soils, which are, we have no, it's not given to us. We're allowed to be part of it and grow grapes. And thanks God we are so passionate about it to reflect this into the bottle. Well, I think you're pretty bloody lucky, and I know that you all know how lucky you are down there. Um, Rudy, thanks very much for joining us. Again. And thank you for yeah, bringing one of great. your precious oh, magnums out of your cellar. So um, Cheers. here's to you. Thank, you. thank you very much. Thanks for joining yeah. us.